right, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, as mentioned, I'm Brad Meter with the Area Settlement Manager with All About Tours, All About Hawaii in the Pacific Northwest at the uh, headquarters. And I also have on the line with us today, Bob Borden, better known as Bula Bob. He's our product manager for the South Pacific and he's uh, the man that knows Fiji. Um, we also um, want to point out now, if you're not aware of this, we do have online brochures and where this really helps is uh, actually for our South Pacific product. Uh, we don't have an actual print product, but uh, uh, we do have some online brochures also for our other product lines too. So if you go to our homepage, you can click on the, um, the link there. It'll say uh, online brochures. Uh, find the appropriate one that you want to uh, choose. Go ahead and take the link, you can copy it right up at the top here and then send it to your client and they will receive an overview of our uh, online color brochure. It's very simple, but it's a nice little feature that we have to, uh, uh, to help you out selling the, the destination. Um, Bob, I think you were gonna take over here. Yeah. Um... Good morning, everybody. Uh, Fiji Airways uh, just uh, introduced a new fare into the system. Uh, it is out of Los Angeles, a base airfare of $677 for the T class of service, which is their entry level fare. Taxes out of Los Angeles are running at about $600 or $166. For going up to Sabu Sabu, where Cousteau is located, the base fare is $950, and the taxes are about $171. Now, the thing that's been going on with Fiji Airways recently is they have been having very short sales windows on their fares. These particular fares are valid for sale today through the 6th of June. Um, We'll see what happens after that. So if you have clients that are interested and they want to grab a great fare, now is the time to do it. When we look at what the fare was yesterday, it was $577 for the base fare. So it is uh, a good idea to get your clients to hurry when they're looking at it because the fares are becoming like domestic fares. They change almost hourly. Uh, flights... From Los Angeles to Fiji, our daily service, they leave in the evening and arrive early two days later because you cross the international dateline on arrival in Nandi and you do have midnight during your flight. There are three flights per week out of San Francisco and out of Honolulu, there is one nonstop service per week and two uh, services that make stops, one of them at Christmas Island, Kiramati, and the other one in Samoa. Uh, Fiji Airways does have onward travel, but it is Fiji Airways, and our main focus is for Fiji. Uh, they've got um, the flights from Los Angeles and San Francisco are approximately 10 hours in length both ways. And uh, you have basically uh, late snack slash dinner, a couple of movies, a sleep, and you wake up in Fiji. On the way back, the flight leaves later in the evening, 940 normally. So you have dinner, a snack, a movie, and wake up in Los Angeles the same before you actually have left Fiji. So you leave Fiji, let's say on the 15th of June, at 9.40 in the evening. You're going to get into Los Angeles on the 15th of June at about 12.40 in the afternoon. So it's good to get there before you leave. And that's about it other than the domestic service. As we go through the presentation in the pre-webinar, you notice it said uh, Pacific Link or something like that. Uh, the new name, this I forgot to update that slide, is Fiji Link, and that is for all of the domestic service for uh, Savu Savu, Taviuni, Suva, Lombasa, and uh, Kandavu. So if you have any questions, just just chime in at the end of the program when Brad, Brad comes up with the question and answers, and we'll be ready to go. That's it, Brad. All right. And uh, I'm glad you brought that up, Bob. I did forget uh, about the Q&A. We will have a Q&A at the end of the presentation. 
Uh, everybody is muted, but if you do have a question, go ahead and enter those into your dashboard and we'll answer those at the end of the uh, presentation. And I also have contact information for all of us too. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the uh, presentation started. And Don, I'm going to turn the presentation over to you. And uh, I think a lot of you know Don from previous employment from Air Pacific back in the day. Air Pacific and Fiji Airways. Don has been doing this for a bazillion years. Yes. Yeah, uh, wealth of knowledge. All, All right, right Don, you have the uh, controls. Well, bull everyone. And welcome to the uh, presentation. And I am not... Uh, there we go. Whoops. So here's uh, here's the resort. Um, we're situated in in, in the uh, the northern island. Uh, we are a, a 17 acre uh, property, and as you can see, there is a, a jetty there to the left, and and the uh, the main uh, central point of the resort, as well as the burrays. The swing over to the right hand side with the uh, the point reef on the far right hand side there. So here's a map that shows you the the route from a Nandi. We like to call it a, a flight seeing uh, flight. Uh, typically the clients are going to go, oh no, I've got to after a, a 10 plus hour international flight to uh, make, the, make the trip up to the north. But once they get in the, on the aircraft and it does fly at a, at a lower elevation, uh, it really is truly a, a a sightseeing experience and they'll be really enraptured with, with, the, with the flight time that'll go by in, in next to no time at all. So here's an overview of, of the resort. Um, and I, I'm not sure if you can, the, mount, the, the mouse doesn't work. Okay, so essentially in the upper uh, central right hand corner, we have our, our, our central area where we have uh, the lobby, reception area, the port cochere, which is the, the entryway to the resort. Uh, we have a boutique, uh, the dive center, et cetera, the bar, lounge, uh, pool. And most importantly, we have not only family dining area, but we also have the adult dining area uh, adjacent to the bar. As you go to the left of the, uh, the central area, You'll notice that the oceanfront burrays, and we have six, six of those. And then if you look on the opposite side of the pathway, you'll see that we have eight garden view burrays. And one thing you'll really, if you experience it yourself and your clients will certainly come away with this, it really is set up like a Fijian village and it really makes it special work. We're not a, a resort that has five different architectural uh, designs that have been built on over the years. And, and so it really has a very cohesive Fijian feel to it. And the grounds are very, very uh, immaculately kept up. And then as you can go down the further down there, you'll see the deluxe, uh, the oceanfront breweries or the deluxe two bedroom breweries. We'll be going over that in a, in a minute. And then the oceanfront two bedroom breweries, the Point Reef breweries, and then of course the the villa and the honeymoon brewery there at, at the end of the line there. So that's a an overview. What you see over in the right right hand corner is for uh, future expansion. Here's a drone shot of the uh, of the central area, um, the dining area for both the families on the left hand side is as well as the adults on the right hand side. You'll see some uh, day beds there and the uh, and a, a yoga center as well as the jetty in the lower left hand corner. Here's a new shot uh, since I was last at the resort which is a few years ago. Uh, they had a major cyclone and they've redone. Uh, you wouldn't really know that it was anything had taken place, but everything's been redone. And what they did is they actually extended out the jetty. When I was there, I think it could accommodate uh, two or three couples, uh, but they've expanded the, the actual decking there. And uh, there's private dining for up to uh, 24 uh, guests now, uh, if, if you were to have a you know, resort buyout for with a group. And a resort at night from the jetty. This is uh, uh, exemplifies the 
the coral habitat. Jean-Michel Cousteau, when he first arrived in Fiji, felt that the Fiji had the most pristine waters that he'd experienced uh, globally. And our wonderful Fijian staff, ready with the, the customary greeting of Bula. Here's some kayaks on the beach, and it reminds me that all non-motorized sports is typical with the resorts in Fiji are complimentary. When you start using uh, gas or petrol, then it's because there's some nominal charges there. There's a beach scene at night. The pool area. And that is the adult pool area. Right, correct. That, that does, they don't have kids there. Okay, <laughs> yeah. There, there, and real quickly, there was a, uh, there's a legacy resort that used to tout itself as being uh, not only romantic, but also a great family uh, destination. And my wife and I were there and uh, lo and behold, uh, Bula Club bled out and uh, an, an eight year old was flying out of nowhere and doing a cannonball right in front of us. So uh, that doesn't occur here at this resort and we'll explain that in a little future slides here. We have an organic garden. We grow all of our, our produce uh, on site and we all make it a point to only use uh, sustainable uh, uh, shell, shellfish and, and seafood. This is uh, Chef Raymond Lee up in the upper left hand corner. Uh, Chef Lee came to us from a, a legacy resort, luxury resort in the past called Vatulele. And I'm a foodie and I can attest that the uh, the cuisine there is, is fabulous. There's Jetty at night with a private uh, dining option there on the beach. And there's the adult dining area. The family dining area. Jetty, bar and lounge. And here's a garden view beret. Now this particular beret is 334 square foot deck. It has a hammock, a uh, table, and two, uh, uh, two chairs, as well as two chaises. The master bedroom is 474 square feet, comes with a king bed and a day bed, a desk, and a mini bar. And you can see the less tropical. Now, at Cousteau, we are an eco-friendly resort. We use what is called breeze conditioning. So that's why those, uh, those heavy louvered windows are there for a, a flow through uh, ventilation. There's also uh, equipped with a ceiling fan. There's only one uh, accommodation, the presidential villa that actually has air conditioning. And we are, uh, in the midst of uh, studying uh, to go to go solar uh, as well to uh, be even more eco-friendly. Here's the oceanfront uh, beret. It's 334 square foot deck. It has hammocks, table, two chairs, and two chaises, as you can see. Uh, the master bedroom is 474 square feet, a king bed and day bed, desk, mini bar, et cetera. There you go. And how relaxing does that look? Okay, so now we, we step up a little bit and we have the deluxe oceanfront two bedroom beret. That has a uh, 538 square foot deck, hammocks, et cetera. Master bedroom is 457 uh, square feet. 547, sorry. And uh, there is a uh, additional room here. There you go. Now these are very popular because of course, the, uh, the, the deluxe has actually an additional bedroom and bath, uh, which the, uh, the oceanfront two bedroom does not have the additional uh, room. It has a room, but it, the, the, the accommodations does not come up with, with a separate bath. So this is very popular for two couples traveling together, and they sell out very, very fast. And that on those uh, two single beds, that's a king split. So those can be slid back together yeah. to make two king beds, one in each bedroom. 
exactly. Thanks, Bob. And and there's all kinds of different configurations you can do. You can get twin beds and, and rollaways and things like that for, for the breweries. There's a picture of the bath. And these are the Point Reef Berets. They're, you know, they're essentially the same uh, configuration except for the, the location is out on the, the point that I showed you in the map in the beginning of the presentation. And the beach gets a little better in that, that part of the resort, just as a, an insider tip. And there you go. The Honeymoon Point Reef Burray uh, is inclusive of the same configuration, but with the uh, jacuzzi bath. Well, the honeymoon couples of your clients. And here's the presidential villa. Now, when I, when I came uh, over to the resort and this had been just finished, I had the opportunity to stay here and I, I, this, I named this the, the mother of all burrays. This is uh, absolutely uh, a fabulous piece of uh, architectural design. The former manager of the resort, what the wife of uh, the husband and wife team, uh, she was an architect as well as uh, interior designer. So if either you as an agent or have clients that are really into lighting, uh, <laughs> this, this I've never had, I've never been in anything like it. It's just, it has every possible conceivable dimmer and fader and all kinds of uh, custom design uh, torch lights etc so this is the this is the master bedroom uh, and that is uh, very very large very very spacious and then this is the this is the adjacent uh, kind of a lounge uh, it has a it has a kitchenette in it, so you could certainly, if you had clients who wanted to, you know, if it was a multi generational and the grandma and grandpa were staying uh, in this, they could certainly have the family over. And there's a kitchen there, and uh, perfect for uh, you know ordering hot canapes, etc., from the kitchen staff to to serve. And there's uh, day beds there, and there's a full uh, bath bathroom facility so it certainly it certainly is an additional uh, accommodation in it and the, the total on the max on that uh, is five guests you can see the pool there and this is the spa and this is looking up it, it's kind of deceiving uh, but those that's all slate and then it goes walks up and then that is that little blue bar you see at the end of the of the tunnel is actually the the master bed with the the four poster uh, master bed. There are two two sinks on either one sink on either side of, of that grand uh, entrance from the from the tub uh, spa slash shower area. Karen took her inspiration for uh, the that bath area and the entry from a Fijian stream. Ah, good to know, Bob. And here's another side uh, side view, and certainly there's a lot of privacy there. You can see the garden, and you really feel like you're in your own, you know, special rainforest spot. There's a lot of there's a lot of zen going on here in this particular accommodation. And uh, there's a you can see the handle. There's a sliding glass door that goes from floor to ceiling. It's nice transparency to it. There you go what I'm talking about. Now this is the private island. This is Navia, 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 and it's a, uh, it's very accessible from the resort. You can actually kayak out there uh, if you so choose and your clients can have a, a, a private lunch uh, or, or a dinner on, on the island. And uh, that's, an, that's an additional nominal charge. There you go. We have a full-blown spa and a huge uh, spa menu uh, that we don't have time to go through all the bits and pieces of that. Very welcoming to the guests. And it, again, it's just all about the experience at Cousteau. We really, there's really an interaction between uh, the guests and the staff. And 
back in the day when I was with the airline, we always used to have the tagline that uh, the guests would would uh, come for the sun and sand, but they would return for the people. And it's certainly indicative of the staff that we have at the resort. So we're surrounded by a uh, marine sanctuary and uh, we actually, this slide needs to be updated and I apologize. We actually have two marine biologists, uh, which is a real cool feature because they can explain to not only the children, but the adults what they're seeing beneath the surface and how important the ecology is and, and all the local uh, indigenous things that are around there. And I've for the first time ever found out what how important sea slugs were and now they're actually a, a nat uh, natural sand machine so I, I got I had some takeaway off of that as well so it's it's a, it's a very cool experience as I said earlier um, all non-motorized sports are complimentary so your guests can take out a Hobie cat or do a single or, or tandem kayaks uh, paddle boarding and and snorkeling my wife is terrified of of uh, snorkeling and and she just went out the end of the jetty and just looked down in the water and saw everything that she could possibly see as, uh, as doing the snorkel experience. Local village visits uh, and cultural experiences. What we have is unique and we have daily adventures. So on Monday we have the day of the coral reef. On Tuesday we have the day of Fijian culture which is a you know cultural immersion. Uh, Wednesday is a day of ecological awareness where you go around with the marine biologists and, and learn about the diff, the, uh, the, the natural uh, indigenous plants and what their herbal uh, significance is. Um, on wet Thursday is the day of the rainforest. There's a trip off into the, the rainforest with waterfalls, etc. And Friday is the day of the coconut, which there's uh, basket weaving, etc. Uh, and then Saturday is the farmer's market in Savo Savo, and Sunday, of course, is a day of rest and relaxation. So your, cho your guests have a choice of doing, you know, at all, or they can, they can do nothing. And here's some shots of the waterfalls and the rainforest and, of course, uh, the yoga in the center there. And Savo Savo town. And Savo Savo is... is is you hear this tagline quite a bit, but it truly is a town that, 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 that time is left behind. It really is still the same way. So it's, it's, it's very cool. And of course, you know, our, we have a world-class dive facility and world-class diving, you know, adjacent to the resort. But I want you guys to take away something today. And it is that just because Jean-Michel Cousteau is the name on the resort, it's not necessarily or should be construed as a dive resort. There's much more complexity to it. It'd just be like having a resort having a very special demonstration kitchen. They throw Julia Child's name on it, and then everybody thinks it's just a culinary resort versus you know having all the, uh, the different dimensions. Shout out to the coral. This is the tennis area as well as the kids club. You'll notice there's a special pool with slide, toddler's pool, et cetera, so, and the dining area. So the children are completely uh, off from the adult area during the day. And, and of course, there's the special dining area for families at night. If the adults want to swim with their children during the day, they have to go to the kids club and not, and not vice versa. There's a dining area, slide, and of course we have, here's the ratio of the nannies and buddies for the, uh, the infants and child and, and, uh, and the kids in general. Tree house we have on property and a zip lining. And of course, uh, kid friendly as far as going out and getting into the garden for uh, kids to experience some culinary activities. Snorkeling. We give back. We have a, a program that we uh, take people to the schools, and and there's a nominal. It's a two dollar US. I think it turns out to be per day for the Sava Sava Community Fund that's attached to your guest bill. Of course, weddings are available, and they are legal weddings. Um, cultural dancing, Fijians and their beautiful voices torch 
procession. And here's a, a snap shot. And uh, part of our staff are very proud that we only have 25 breweries and we have 220 staff members, which is somewhat unheard of. Uh, but we do have a very good ratio of staff to guests. And that's it. So please drop in and pay us a visit for a truly memorable, nurturing, romantic, exotic experience. Thank you very much for your attention. All right, Don. Thank you. It's a spectacular property. Uh, Bob, you want to jump in here and kind of go over there some of our... I sure will. Uh, Cousteau Fiji has several different packages that they offer out. Uh, one of our favorites is the relaxation package. The price you're looking at, the $24.22, is per person, double occupancy. It does not include the airfare. This is a land only. Uh, as I mentioned the airfares earlier, uh, we can always get the best airfares available up there. Uh, the nice thing about this particular package is you do get to stay for six nights, but only pay for four. And you have three spa treatments per bure, which you can choose from the Bobo massage, which is a two masseuse massage, the uh, facial, or the Coco Rapture, which I'm not sure what it is. I was scared to try it. But the spa treatments there are truly spectacular. Uh, when we were back, back in there showing the slide of the masseuse and you were looking out at the beach behind her, the spa table is there and you lay down and if you lift your head up, you're looking right out at the beach and you hear the waves lapping. It is just amazing. Uh, this package is available uh, for some specific travel dates. It does have blackout dates. We can get this off to you and personalize this flyer, any of the flyers we offer, uh, quite easily. This is for uh, the family escape. It is also offered on a stay six pay for basis. It's based on the relaxation package. So the parents get the spa treatments. And it has the Bula Camp for the kids, which I listed out just all the different things the kids get in this package. And one really great thing about Cousteau is you're not just shoving your kids off someplace. Your kids are going off and having a wonderful time with the great Fijians. And you're encouraged to join them and be with them and experience what they're experiencing. Unfortunately, when you're on your way home, your kids are not going to want to come with you. They're going to stay in Fiji. <laughs> and as Don mentioned, there is uh, scuba diving available. Well, Cousteau is a outstanding resort. They also have an outstanding dive program, but it's not a true dive resort. It's a great resort that offers great diving. Uh, the uh, Dive and rejuvenation package is for six nights, and you get your choice. You either have three days of two tank diving or three one hour massages. That way, if the wife is the diver and the husband wants to lay around in a hammock reading books and getting massages, they're both happy. Thank you.